<laughs> hey, Nicole. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for doing this interview. No problem. I'm very excited. Right on. So I want to talk to you about something that I think is really dear to your heart. It's hockey. This is true. So what got you interested in hockey? Yeah, so when I was about two or three, I have uh, twin uncles that uh, have always played hockey. They've always been very interested in the sport, and they really got me into it. They gave me uh, books, and they cut down old sticks and gave them to me to play around with and got me really excited about the sport. And so as I kind of got older, I, I continued to be uh, really interested in it. Right on. And so um, uh, uh, why do you continue to play? Like what drives your passion? Yeah, I think it's, there's just a certain feeling that you get when you're out on the ice. Um, it's sort of a freedom. Uh, you sort of feel the, the wind rushing past you. And just the sensation of skating is something I've always really loved. I also think that there is a certain element of maybe strategy that I love about the game as well. It's sort of uh, an opportunity to really give it your all. And uh, as well, I, I enjoy the physical side of the game too. So uh, that's always been something I've enjoyed. Very cool. I'm sure it's a great exercise. Mm -hmm. but what would you say is, is, is the one thing you love about hockey? Yeah, or not necessarily one thing, but yeah. if you were to distill it. <laughs> I think for me, there is this comfort that I have in the sport growing up with it. Um, when I go to the rink and I see the ice and I smell the smells, which a lot of people might not uh, like a lot, but there's just this, this feeling of, of being at home mm -hmm. and being somewhere where I'm inherently comfortable. and so. I love that, that feeling of going out onto a fresh sheet of ice and, and I guess it's sort of just the physicality of it, even the skating, the, the stick handling, the shooting. It's, it's quite a sensation and just the whole environment of it I really love. Mm. How do you keep you, this passion alive? Like how mm -hmm. do you, in, in the middle of uh, all of your busyness, yeah. how, do, how do you find time to continue? Yeah. I guess I've always uh, been really passionate about it, for, so for me it's almost a, a treat to be able to watch a game or to read articles online and sort of uh, continue learning. Um, I've always loved the history side of the game, so I've, I've always read lots of books and yeah, it's, it's, it's just something that I, I don't even, not even conscious about my sort of enjoyment of the sport sometimes, it's just, uh, it feels so natural. What goes through your mind when you think about hockey? I think over the last few years, my relationship with hockey has gotten a little bit more complicated. Um, as I see the sport, maybe learning a few things around you know, um, the gender dynamics and power in the sport, um, the issues around health and concussions. I still love the sport and I still have this feeling towards it, but I think it's not just this unobjective love. I almost feel a certain criticalness towards it, but I sort of justify it by saying that it's because I feel so strongly about the sport that I, I am willing to sort of look at the sport and, and see the ways that it could be improved. Um, you know, there's a, a big thing around um, access to the sport. It costs a lot of money to get involved, and so I've was pretty privileged to be able to to play for as long as I did and you know there's things around you know um, gender and race that I've been able to explore say through sort of an academic context and I think in some ways it's enriched my sp understanding of the sport but it also I think has matured my uh, the way that I approach the game wow. give me an example of a memorable hockey experience because uh. I'm sure with all, everything that you've gone through, you must have many memories. Yeah. So give me one that really comes to mind that stirs up some emotion for you. Yeah, as soon as you ask that, I know exactly what moment it is. Um, I must have been seven or eight, and uh, in minor hockey, I played goal. So I was a goalie, and 
uh, I was always fairly good and there were no um, girls teams so I played with boys and so I was the only girl on my team and I was the goalie. Um, I, we were playing in a tournament uh, a town away from the one I grew up in and I remember sitting before the game with my dad and he was reading me a book. Uh, it was an autobiography, of, or a, I guess a biography about uh, Mino Rayom who was the first uh, female to ever play in an NHL exhibition game. And then I went in and we played in the finals of that tournament and uh, we were playing against the best team and they had this goalie that was so good and it ended up that we were tied by the end of it so we went into a shootout and it was so nerve-wracking but I, know, I had this confidence and we went out and uh, I ended up stopping every single shot. Their goalie stopped every single one except the last one. And so uh, our player went down, scored, and I just remember feeling so proud and excited about what I was uh, able to accomplish. And it was just such a neat time too, because you know, seven, eight years old, there's sort of an innocence about it. And it was just, yeah, every time I think about it, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty excited. Amazing. Just that free joy, that open joy. Exactly. Oh, that's awesome. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, well, any other thoughts that you have about hockey? Like um, any advice you'd give for future generations in how to play and what to do? Or the people who want to get in, into yeah. hockey or are wondering? I think my thoughts are sort of directed towards hockey as a sport, as a larger institution. And I think that hockey itself and the community that makes up hockey needs to have a bit of a conversation around access to the game and the affordability of the game. Uh, it's increasingly, I mean it always was to a certain degree, but it's increasingly becoming a sport that requires you to have uh, you know, a lot of resources and if your parents aren't able to do that then, then unfortunately you're sort of excluded from the game and I think that's really unfortunate. Um, in a lot of ways I love what I've gotten out of it but I also see that you know it, it, it I don't think it's sustainable as sort of we, we term it our national sport. I, I don't think it's sustainable to be able to um, move forward and only have a, a very small group of, of people within this big country being able to financially afford to play the game. So I think, I think that's going to be an issue moving forward and in some ways people are, are already confronting that, but I think that's one of the big things. Awesome, wonderful. Thank you so much, Nicole. That You're was really welcome. great. <laughs> well, it's sort of uh, an opportunity to really give it your all and uh, as well I, I enjoy the physical side of the game too. That